Hi everyone. Okay, just make sure you're not too bright. Oh, it should be okay. I'm just messing around with the uh, settings on the phone. So I'm hoping that when I go to edit, the brightness is going to be okay because let me just see, just turn it down a little bit. I don't want it to be too bright for you. Right, so welcome to part one. Now the reason why I'm splitting this up is because when I first did the Documented Life project, um, which is what this is based on, this isn't my original idea or, or an original, um, well it's not my original idea or concept, it belongs to a group of women uh, back in I think 2014 it was. And what they did, they started, just make sure you're, sorry, I'm faffing with the camera, I'm really sorry about this. It's like you're my guinea pigs. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, yeah, it was, it all started, it was actually, the original concept was actually Lorraine Bell. And then these four women, these four friends took that concept and developed it. And over time it, it evolved into different journals and things and um but the original one was in a moleskin and it was in the uh so like you it's a weekly and the set out is like this so you have your week to view on one page then you have notes and the original concept was a diary a space for notes and a space for art so everything was to hand so she didn't have, she being Lorraine, she didn't have, have to carry around a diary, a notebook and an art journal. It was all in one. So what I'm doing, I'm not teaching as such. This is not my idea. Um, I am just, I'm creating myself a new one for obviously uh, July till next, next year. 18 months, wow didn't realise it was like, it didn't click that it's 18 months, July till December next year. Blimey, I wonder if I can commit to this. <laughs> I would love to be able to commit to this. I think, is this one? This must be an 18 month one as well. So this starts in January and then, yeah. And then that went to uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, hang on. Hmm. Let me see, because I don't know if I. Oh, I've got some notes in there. What that's about. Sorry, I'm getting super distracted. Let me open this up anyway. Let's just start by opening this because I'm just getting super distracted by the fact that it's an 18 month one. July. So yeah, this is going to be more. So it's going to be even chunkier. Right, let's not get distracted. Let's just start with it. Right, so the reason why I'm using a moleskin is basically, look, look at that. Look at the binding here. Can you see? Is that going to focus? There you go. You can push this baby to its limits. I think some people had to rebind theirs. I'm not sure. But you know me. I love... And brightness of it. I love a good chunky planner, I really do. Right, so as I open this very, very carefully, whatever, let's see. Let's, I just need to start by not damaging the journal as I pierce it. Right, so yeah, um, losing my train of thought here. Let's have a look. Really sorry, <laughs> I'm just really distracted. Let's just get this off right. Okay, so wow, I can't believe how how thin it is compared to this. So yeah, we're 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 the same. Oh, that looks new. Wow. So there's a lot in the beginning here. Right. So you don't have to. What's this? Make this space your own. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a lot of information in here, which is good because this is what it's about, really. This is about having everything all in one place. Your journal, which is what the note, notes section can be about. Your journaling, your diary. And, oh God, I just love, those colours are stunning. Um, and art. 
okay and then at the beginning you have all your other information to hand as well so you have obviously your months to view now in here what I would like to do is to because my it, mine is going to change mine is going to lean towards because it's a, all in one it's personal to you so mine's going to lean towards having the moon phases um, documenting um, my personal astrology uh, and all of that so the, these are literally ideas that are being sort of like birthed so I won't truly know what it's going to look like until I start running with it but I do have to start now obviously because we're in the first week of July and so I need to set this up and the reason why this is being um, put into like part one part two is because it actually requires a lot of thinking and sort of planning I guess before you start to set yours up because what I found oh, it feels beautiful uh, and this is something that they never talked about which I think that out coming from experience and me mentioning mentioning it to you now if you decide to do something like this this is honestly a lifesaver so you have your brand new journal you don't want to screw it up do you you really want to sort of like get it right so this part one is more the foundation foundational steps and you can do this to any planner but please do remember that if you are going to fill it like with tip-ins with these extra pages that it is going to expand so you do want a planner that's going to be able to take the strain so to speak um you don't have to have, have the tip-ins you don't have to do that you can take what ideas you want from this and then run with them to see where we are so i mean it's really good because um i'm starting this in this week so um i can literally start from the very beginning which i'm really pleased about and i have so many notes and journal journaling stuff so I i'm sure to fill this space but i don't know i'm not going to with every week um go crazy like i didn't even in this actually um where where was that one yeah so like i have this here and we'll find another one um yeah i'm not going to do art on all of them but i will obviously use these for art and stuff like that anyway um so where was i at? i shouldn't get so sidetracked right so yeah um what you want to do you want to basically plan this is going to sound a bit crazy you don't have to do this but you want to sort out your washi so if you're going to be washing washi taping the edges or putting in tip-ins with the washi tape you really do need to plan what washi you have and how much you have how much it's going to take basically and the order it's going in, going in now i purposefully i actually put this washi on with purpose so I didn't just pick any random washi. I wanted to create this colour effect here. And the same goes with the tabs. Now, these tabs were, if I try and hold it up, I don't know if you can see it. So these tabs here, if I click on focus, I'm going to have to turn the brightness up again. These tabs, okay. I actually used a, hang on a second. Yeah, I actually used a tab punch and cut out using the tab punch, like printed out some of um, oh, Robin Marie's artwork on a sheet of paper, a free downloadable piece of art. And I used the tab punch and I actually covered the paper with sticky back, sticky back plastic. So these tabs are protected. Now, I will probably laminate because I don't think I've got any sticky back plastic. And also, the if I do laminate them, it, they'll just be that little bit stronger because this is going to be carried around potentially for 18 months. So they do need to be quite sturdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the artwork which I would like my tabs to be made from now i did have some tabs somewhere which would have been perfect i've looked everywhere for them so maybe it's just not meant to be i mean i could have another look around but i have sort of an idea of how i want this to look anyway so i may just print i might even just print off some of my own artwork and and you know the circles or something 
and um, do that. Print, um, yeah, print it out, create the tabs, laminate, hmm, or laminate, and then cut it out with the tab punch. I wonder if that would work. I have to test that out and let you know. So yeah, you need to decide on your tabs first. And I really wanted mine to be like Robin Marie's because I just loved how hers came out and looked. But now, obviously, this is brand new. My tastes have changed. And what I did was I printed out the um, the months. In, so April, I just did APR. I didn't have to obviously shorten May. I shortened June to J-U-N, you know, so I did it like that. And I printed them off, stuck them down onto the tab, and then put the sticky back plastic on. Um, and it worked really well, actually. So I'm, I am hoping I've got some sticky back plastic, because that's just fine. And it's flexible, so it's strong enough. So you want to do that. So you want to sort out what your tabs are going to be made from, unless you've ordered some from, I don't know, an online shop, or you've already got some, or you have a tab punch, and you can print out some artwork and punch the punch it out create your own tabs now obviously i'm going to need 18. crikey <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah this is a 12 month one from i can't imagine what this is going to look like it's going to be amazing though 18 months right so yeah you want to sort out paper print out whatever your tabs are going to look like the order that you want them in just play around with them before you stick them down we're going to go through sticking them down by the way we're going to go through all of that this is very 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 time consuming project this is something that obviously is going to take me potentially most of a day uh, which is why it is going to be in two parts if not more but obviously there, there is going to be more videos anyway on how i use this journal so there probably is going to be more content this month um on patreon over here so anyway yeah next you want to think about well actually let's not jump too far ahead you want to think about if you're going to create tippings what cardstock you're going to use now what i'm going to do is because i didn't use these i'm going to get my craft knife cut this off here and then i'm going to reuse these in my new one so that's going to save me a lot of time. I will also use one as a template to cut out more. Now, what I did was, I mean, this will be covered in, in another video anyway. As I stuck them down, or after I stuck them down, I did corner punch it because you'll see in the Moleskin Planner, leave the pages are, I love those colours, rounded. Yeah, they're rounded. So I rounded them off with a corner punch, which I do need to potentially get a new one because I've had this for years and it's just um, losing its sharpness. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I can always pick another one up. So you want to think about the washi tape you're going to use, the order it's going to be going in, because for me, I actually have this whole jar. This is nowhere near compared to how much washi tape I used to have. So I did have a really fantastic collection. Um, now I am going to be going for purples, turquoise, golds, but when you, you know, you have to sort of like lay them out, all the ones that you want to use to see how, how they look together and maybe move them around a little bit. So the colors, the edges are gonna be different with this one than they are with this one. So it's gonna be interesting just to have a play around with these and see how they come out. And you do want to use as well, good quality washi that's sticky if it doesn't stick don't worry just get a glue stick and apply extra adhesive and obviously just like leave that to dry make sure it's rubbed down properly uh, obviously we'll cover that as well in another video uh, but that's another tip as well because sometimes you get some really lovely washi but it's like it's quite cheaply made and it it doesn't work very well but all need all you need is a glue stick so it'll work so yeah, I'm going to play around with these. I really do like the softer colours because this is quite obviously bright. So I don't know, I'm going to play around. I do have some ideas that I want to run with. So I'll be going through through my washi collection and choosing which ones I want to use and then which order to put them in. So there's that. Right, now... 
accessories this is a really fun bit this is the tedious bit but it's so satisfying when you're nearing the end you're like oh my goodness it really you're gonna have to set aside a big chunk of time to do this uh, you don't have to do it all in one go but I kind of advise it because uh, it just gets it out of the way and you don't have to really think about it again and you just get the overall look I mean I, I will probably only do maybe half of it see how I go maybe get some more washi I don't know we're just gonna wait and see now you have in here a bookmark depending on what journal you're going to use you may already have a bookmark if not you can create your own and a way to do this and this is by Ray Missigman she uses some sari ribbon now this came like this i dyed my own um i love 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 these colors but for my journal for this journal i may just go for certain colors so i might not have um all of these colors basically uh, we'll just have to wait and see i'm going to play around with them but i have extra here so that i can dye this and color coordinate it all because that is the idea so for the bookmark now you might not all be able to do this uh it's a bit fiddly so you might obviously not i'm not saying you won't, well, you won't be able to you might just not really want the, to do it because <laughs> it is so fiddly you basically what you're going to do if you have a sewing machine you can i mean you can do this by hand but it is super fiddly uh you can wrap the sari ribbon around your bookmark and then just basically do really messy sort of zigzag stitches along there and then what Ray did was she um, once it was all finished she actually put a bead at the end now you can make it a little bit longer with this this technique so you can actually sew this onto the bookmark that you already have leave a little bit extra at the bottom thread it through a couple of beads tie it off so then you have this beautiful bookmark to go with it so there's that so you want to think about your washi your tabs and fabric or whatever you're going to use for your bookmark or whether or not you're just going to make a brand new bookmark because your journal doesn't have one then you want to think also about another way of creating a bookmark is or a tab so this is basically just obviously a tag in one of my pages but I created this you know to make it long longer so you could actually see it but what you can also do is so for so you have like your bookmark so you know what day you're on you can also just sort of decorate it in general have maybe another bookmark for another place that you want to keep referring to say the month to view and you again you can get some sari ribbon or anything really even some fabric like that's pretty much what I used for that um, you can cut the fabric out, you can tie it onto a clip, some kind of clip. And I know Ray used a bobby pin, beautiful bobby pin with a flower on it, um, which I could actually, I'll link to her tutorial below actually, because that will be quite handy. And she tied the ribbon to the bobby pin. So you could literally just completely uh, transform a journal, plain journal, into something really, really beautiful. So my plans for mine are going to be slightly different. Now, I probably already spoke about this. With this, there was like a, a themed, uh, let me see, like a, a, a prompt, a week, a weekly prompt. If that is something that you're interested in, I'm, I would be very happy to create some prompts for you. We can do that and they can be leaning towards what we're, what we're working on. So yeah, I'd be really happy to do that if that is something that you're interested in. I know other people won't be interested in that. They might, if they're going to do this, they might want to make it their own. They won't want to run with the prompts. They want to do their own thing, which is obviously completely fine. Um, but what I really want to do is, in my journal, obviously I'm going to be documenting in here because it is documented life you're documenting your life here it's not specifically planning as such I have my Wordsworth planner for my business planning and general life planning which you will see how I use um, over the course of the month but with this you're basically you're you're documenting things so you're journaling like ideas that come up I mean this is you don't have to use it this way at all uh, and in the planner section you can just document what you did that day so you don't have to have 
um, for example, what you've got to do, you can document what you have done, which is fantastic because you have a planner for planning the things that you have to do. And sometimes you have to carry them forward uh, or you have cancellations and stuff like that. So, you know, your, your planner sort of like chops and changes, but you have to put down obviously what you need to do that week. But with this, you can just document what you did. So for example, in, let's see, just wanna, yeah, so um, here I just, let's have a look. Well, this is a, this, this was a birthday week, so I just stuck down receipts. You don't even have to have all the days specific on each day. You can just sort of like give an overall theme of that week if you wanted to. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. So funny because the, the peacock really is coming up a lot for me recently. This is artwork by Ali Brown. So, yeah. Um, so that's what I'll be doing, documenting my week and also doing my journaling. And so, like, if I'm doing my tarot or oracle cards, I might even document that, document the overall energy or theme of the week I might have that here I mean it really I will be playing this by ear so I really want it to be documenting the energies I really want to sort of like track the lunar phases astrology all of that to be really spiritual really sort of um just completely different to this uh so but still creative really super creative um it is going to obviously unfold and evolve so you know it is I have an idea in my head but who knows what it's going to look like I mean yeah there is going to be obviously artwork just like this you know it's going to be like I love the fact that I had a week here where I just let everybody so I went to a event and rather than journaling that week I just got everybody to sign my planner so you can do that if you have an event leave a week you know leave that week and then let everybody journal you know write in there and sign it it's just so many good memories um what else was i going to say yeah i mean if you want to i have this here so if you want to get a theme for your tags if you have different papers obviously this print is way 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 too big but um if you have different papers i mean or cardstock just flick through them and just see what you have and then so yeah, I mean, I would love to create maybe, you could say I want to create some tags out of this piece here. I want, that would be the theme. You would then perhaps punch out 12, say, in my case, 18. I can't believe it's 18. 18 tab, tabs, not tags, tabs. So punch out 18, stick down the month, what month it is. Remember as well, before you stick down a month, organise them. So once you've punched them out, um, depending on lamination and stuff like that, you know, obviously you want to, um, before you laminate it, decide or stick it back plastic, sticky back plastic it and stick on the months. You want to decide what order they're going to go in as well, because believe it or not, that really does. I mean, I'm probably preaching to the choir here. It really does make a difference what order they go in, uh, unless they look really similar, it really won't make any difference. But believe it or not, with these ones, even though they look very, very similar, they're not completely, because there's a yellow one here, yellow and pink, and then this has got darker colours with a little bit of um, writing on it from a, a ripped piece of paper, because this is obviously artwork that I printed off. So they're not all the same, so I had to organise them and then you know decide which way round they were going to be as well I mean I really put a lot of thought and effort into it it does take a long time but it is well well worth it and then when you realize how much time you spent on working on it you're more inclined to use it as well see I only used about half of this um half of the month and then that was it uh so yeah so you want to think about your tabs washi tape and the paper for your tippings, what paper you're going to use, I used mixed media paper. It's not as thick as watercolour paper. Well, it depends on what watercolour paper you get. You can use cartridge paper if you prefer. Just whatever you, you, you're you used to, you know, with your art. Uh, but yeah, you don't want it too thick because it, 
I mean, it depends. I don't know. You, your journal might not be able to take the bulk. So I, yeah, I literally use this, this mixed media paper. It's, I mean, it's still quite thick. I think some of it's mixed. It must, most, I don't know, one's got, uh, I think it is all mixed media from what I remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these ones out. I don't know how many I have. Um, and then stick them into here. And then I'm going to be working on my tabs. So that will be part two. I will show you how I set mine up. Obviously, I'll show you the first couple of pages of how I put the pages in, you know, the uh, tip ins in and how I've and then how I I'll speed up the rest and then how I put in the tabs. I'm not going to show you the full process. That's going to be take ages. But I really hope this video has given you some food for thought. Remember, you can tweak this for any other journal. Just bear in mind the um, in fact, here's a really, really good idea. I was going to say, bear in mind the binding. But I'll tell you what you can do, which is I love, love, love this idea. You could have a traveller's notebook and have separate notebooks for, say, one for, well, I don't know. It really is up to you. You can have one for three months, one for six months, one for, uh, and with that insert, because it is going to get chunky if you add tip-ins to the insert. So you could have an insert that has only three months worth in and you're not going to then put the binding of that notebook um, to risk, you know, from breaking. So you could have so many notebooks, set them all up in one go, even though, you, you know, like you, you're not even started yet. So you could literally have 12 months worth. Do exactly like this to the separate notebooks and put them in the traveller's notebook and it's going to look stunning, you know, so you can even run with that idea, which I love. Uh, and if I hadn't have got this, then maybe I would have tried that. I don't know. So um, any other ideas? I think that's it for now. I don't really want to overwhelm you. Some people have, before I go, decorated their cover that's something you can do bearing in mind you're gonna it's going to get bashed about bashed about quite a bit if you're going to be carrying it around with you but some people have also added those edges metal sort of corner things i don't know what you call them or even a whole uh, edge thing decorative edge with that metal i can't remember i just don't know what you call it maybe i'll have a look online and maybe i can link it below but um, some people have, have added those to protect the corners of their journal, which I think is not only just a, not only a good idea, but it actually looks beautiful. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to leave mine plain unless I later on decide I want to stick something down. But I just love the contrast. I love just the plain black and then the sudden sort of pop of colour. And you will no doubt have spillage of ink and paints and stuff over time which will look really gorgeous so that is that um remember you can obviously if you're running with similar sort of idea of content you if you're into tarot oracle cards or anything like that astrology anything really um similar to that remember you can actually scan your card it's for personal use only and stick down on the note page obviously this is jumping a bit ahead now um and then you can incorporate other things like pockets with cards and stuff and you can really fill your your planner up, really push it to its limits and um and yeah i think some people have had to rebind theirs i think uh but yeah no it, it's such a fun project so hope I haven't overwhelmed you and I have gone on for quite a bit but this is crucial if somebody had done this for me it would have really really helped me out the first time so this is why I'm creating this video it's really to get your creative juices flowing to get you thinking before you jump straight in and potentially ruin an expensive journal because I mean moleskins aren't cheap this is like 18.99 but I did get it from Waterstones um well my, my son actually got it for me um and because he bought it for me as a gift, I'm like, I have to use it, you know, and I don't want to ruin it. So I really need to think about it. Oh, and before I go, you have this elastic on here. If you're going to use one of these or a journal with one of these elastics, you can also add a decorative. Um, well, I know I've done this in a previous video with a journal. You can add ribbon on here. But do remember, it's going to stretch over time with the bulk. 
so yeah you you do want to sort of like bear that in mind that's probably something you'd want to add later on so i mean you can't you could do everything all in one go but i think you just, there are just certain things to save especially something like that when it it is going to stretch right so if you have any questions i'm sure some of you may have some questions i might have left something out just leave them below and i will get back to you as soon as i can um, ask even i don't know just let me know what journals you're going to use if you're going to take part in this project that'd be really interesting um i'd love to know and i would love to see everybody everyone who's taken part i would love to see what you do you know it would be brilliant if some of you take part in this uh right okay i'm gonna go before i waffle on anymore take care and until part two bye